in this video you will learn how to set up your drawings to a paper space with viewports and also how to scale them properly and export them as a PDF ready for print. In AutoCAD go to the tab layout 1. You are now in paper space. This is where you change the paper size and create your layout. What you see is only the default settings so select the viewport and delete it. Now we want to change paper size. Go to layout and then page setup. Here you can see that you have the layout one. You can click modify. Here you have a few options. First you have like the print. Select the printer Adobe PDF and then we have some options about paper size. Let's say we want A3. Select that and now we can choose if we want it portrait or landscape. Let's say portrait. We also have some options about the quality and also about like if we want to print the transparency and so on. Now let's press OK. Close it. And now we have the paper size A3 portrait. And the next thing is that we want to create some viewports. So what we want to do is we go up here and click rectangle. This will create a rectangular viewport. And if you double click in it, you will have the model space in there. And you can see this here and you can simply uh, zoom in to your drawings. Uh, you can also by clicking the frame, you can uh, click and drag and change your layout. Let's say we also want a viewport that is a circle. To do that, we could go to home and then create a circle by clicking circle. Otherwise, we can also just uh, type in circle or C to create this circle. To make this circle to a viewport, we need to go to layout and then Click this arrow here and press object. Then we need to select the circle. Now it's a viewport and you can double click in it and just zoom in to your drawings. Next, let's say we don't want uh, the frame to be visible. So type in layer and create a new layer. Name it no print and to make it uh, more clear we could uh, change the color. The important thing now is to click the print icon. This will make this layer to not be printed. So let's say this frame we don't want to be printed. Select it and then go here and click no print. Now the frame is in the no print layer and will not be printed. Just to show this, let's try it out. Go to AutoCAD and then print. And here you can see that the Adobe PDF printer is selected. Click preview and you will now see that the rectangular frame does not show and the circular one does according to the layers. Now for the next part of this video, we will go through how we scale this. The first thing that you need to check is that the units is right. So type in units. Here let's check so everything looks okay. So these settings could be as it is and then this should be millimeters if the drawing is drawn in millimeters. It's okay. And the next thing that you really need to check is that the actual drawings is drawn in scale one to one, meaning it's one meter is 1000 millimeters. So one meter here should be 1000 units. 
And if that's right, then we can go to our layout space. I'll just uh, rename this. To scale these drawings in relation to the paper size, simply double click within the viewport. Then you see this area here. This is the scale. So simply select the scale that you wish this viewport to have. Then the drawings will rescale. In this case, 1 to 100 was too big. So let's try 1 to 200. And that's not a standard scale in AutoCAD, so you need to create it by clicking custom. Then click add. Here, set a name for your scale. Let's say 1 to 200. Then the paper units should be 1 and the drawing units should be 200. Then click OK. OK. Now you need to find it in the list, 1 to 200, and then select it. Now your drawing is in 1 to 200. Now let's do the same thing for the circular viewport. I'll set this at scale 1 to 100. Now, when you're happy with your layout and your scales, you're ready to print. Go to, go to AutoCAD and print. Check so everything looks all right. Then click OK. Save it. And now you have a PDF in scale, ready to print. Thank you for watching.